Hello, welcome back online, guys. I'm Adesi Fair. It's been a while in our tutorial year on YouTube, but right now I'm back for you guys, like really, really fully back. I'm actually on some stuff, but now today we are having a tutorial on a full introduction to Pixel Lab. Yeah, I know you did that right. You have some tutorials before but we haven't had a full introduction to the app we use most time this busy lab is a very variable app which i use mostly for my designs and it's used to design a lot of things such as flyer posters even printed flyers you use this busy lab to design them before you print out as well as a brand logo and others to minimalistic logo to 3d logo and a monogram logo the only thing that can limit what you can do on this app actually is your creativity level if you uh, your creativity level is high and you keep on implementing on stuff you will never be stranded designing with this app so the first thing let's go to play store to get our app downloaded yeah this is play store uh, mind you this app is not is not available on app store it's actually for mobile phone users so let's click on this now uh, come to our search bar click on pixel uh, we type pixel lab okay search button yeah we have pixel lab and if you say something if it's your first time downloading the app this place I saw instead of it to show updates your app, it will show install. The one I have needed an update, but actually I don't need to update it because I don't need that. So let's continue. Let's click on this app actually and click on what is new. Last update the April 18. Actually, it asks some bugs. Like if you emboss some test or actually the it will have some small space in between that that is actually the bo the box it has and i think it has been fixed now and this is a short test on what the app can do actually yeah this this here and if you scroll down so you see some others and you can use this as 3d test test effect image image effects and others this app is not something you can't you it's a lot you can do a lot on it you can do a lot on it so let's go to the introduction to the full app as i said earlier once you click on yours if you haven't been using this before it will show install instead of updates instead of updates so let's go here Yeah, we open our PC Lab app. If you notice something, the PC Lab app I open now is different from the one we see on Play Store because I'm using a modded version of PC Lab, which is provided at the description of the video. After watching the complete intro, you can actually find that there, and you can find it right there and it's encrypted with a password if you you know what the video finish you might not be able to get the password to have the file to install the app so let's just go if i want to these are the devil designs this one i'm going to do a devil design whenever i want to design i'll click on this white blank one yeah we have it so we have here this particular one we have this at test we have this for image importation as well this particular one as image importation we have this to change the color of your background and we have this to make this this nice thing is very very effective when designing some tall stuff especially when you are doing a glass movesing so let's continue let's start from test if you click on this test, it will bring pop up a new test command for you to input your test. So let's click on edit and we delete this and we put our test. 
Vamos mudar o artes desse artes fe. Now we capitalize that. Do you see? Notice where I capitalize that. Okay. Let me type this artes fe. This is where I capitalize this. If you click on that, it will capitalize all your text and it will also bring it to a smaller case later. So I'm capitalizing this and I'm clicking on OK. So this is it. I already have my text here and delete with this. And with this guy here, back arrow, I can retrieve back what I have deleted. And as well as I have, can copy this. So I'll click on copy. You see, I already copied that. And as well, let's change the color of this text to make use of this to front and to back. So let's go here. We have a color here. You click on color. I'll click on this. And I'll click mark. So let me put this on this. See this? Purple color identifier is on the black color identifier. Not that black, but let me change that to black as well. Yes, I have a black color here. So let me bring this here. So this is it. I want to make use of this bring to front and to back. So what I will do right here is click on my layers. Last layers here. I'll click on this and I'll click on the one down after the additive, which is the black one. And I'll click on my layers again. I'll go to and then I'll click on bring to front. Yeah, this is it. If you notice that, then the black adhesive is at the front and the purple one is at the back. I can always send it back to its normal place by clicking to back. And this, I'll click on the first one and it will reflect. And to change the position of this myself manually, I'll click on position and I can just do this to the left, to the right, and up. And I can as well use this to increase the size at which it moves. Now, just watch this. And if I take it back to one, it should be slow moving. The distance that as well. Okay, good. And this is a relative position which can actually bring your image or your text to a possible position you might want it to be. Like either to the top right corner, to the left right corner, to the bottom, to the center and to the top as well so let's click on this relative position yeah here it is i click on this if you see this this is centered middle already clicking this guy and this to the right this to the left this down this top to the i hope you've seen all this i'm doing so let me send this back to center and i'll mark now the next thing is let's talk about size so what i do now you can use this edge to increase and reduce the size as well as use this test size as well so in, most time using this test size is to is to make it more like have the particular size you want to reduce it to so i'll click on this and i'll increase the size to like one that is 46 yeah so you see you can increase as much as you can so let me reduce the size to like two which is not visible to us again let me get it back for it to be visible now we have 100 you can use this plus and minus sign to both increase and decrease the size of the text of the all your image so let's continue we have paddling here which can be used to put space on front and back of our text like i have this here you sense that and i have this here if you sense it there is a space in there you see if i use this there won't be enough space again and some test if you use some fonts this is what happens that is the reason why we have the importance of the pedal in which you can use it to move out your full test and have everything fully recovered and here we have color which i already showed us if we click on this color there is something we call gradient color in which you can mix color here clicking on this gradient color if i click on this i have to color but how did i use that i'll click on this add button i'll click on this which has the blue if you notice that this has a yellow color which signifies i've selected this i'll click on that already and i'll click on my color picker 
or color dropper it says that i click on this and then i'll come here i'll use i want to use my i want to impose the color code myself so i'll use i'll click on this you see that pencil i'll click on this and i'll input my color code which is f f okay let me see f f b zero 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 let me see if i see all this okay yeah good i have the color already yeah perfect so i'll click on okay i'll click on this also and i think i have the red button the red color i want already i'll click on my color picker again and yeah i have this to have your color code this is where the color code shows actually see that if i change some stuff here see that those place we actually change like right, like right. i bring this here you see you see that right and right so this is it this is it Perfect. if i use ff0000 i think that should give me um a red color as well so let's just continue and i'll click on ok now let me adjust this and bring this guy down here okay perfect click on ok and you see we already have a two color test here so the next thing we go to our texture don't let us use this one to make texture we already use it to make a color let's click on this black additive page. we click on our texture click on this and it will direct us to our storage space and yeah i have this look at my images and i'll go to my premium background and here i have what i needed at the last bottom yeah i have this and here so you can resize your imported image right here like, let me just resize this and i might want to move this guy to another part like this and i might mistakenly man my mistakenly go this way and increase this which are already perfect so to avoid that you click on this lock button this lock icon and if you see that once i own click that it shows my dot 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 here to adjust that but once i click this i only have this for you so i can move this and i can even use the angle to move it so i have this so i'll click on mark and this to use this ratio for some, sometimes you use texture some image there may still be some space that the image did not cover so for you to do that perfectly click on enable ratio but for this this is a test and everything is covered by what we imported so i don't need to use the ratio and you can also scale your image when you texture or anything on pixel app by using this i want this at 90 oh uh, let me yeah i want it at 60 and that's perfect so let's mark and continue and we have something like opacity like this opacity you can use it to blow image you can use it to um blend image as well to our background you can use that to blend image to our background if you click on this opacity just watch this state as it disappears into that color see that after doing the size it decreases like it disappeared it's faded the way we can see it again. so let's continue we have rotation you can use to rotate your test or image as well so let's click on this guy to bring everything back to normal now we have it and yeah let's make use of mask tool you see when you notice something like click on this mask tool it's already marked so yeah let's do this let's click on this we have this already part one part has been maxed out let's mark so see having that click let's centralize this and I'm bring this guy up here perfect so let's click on this again and try to centralize it again and copy copy that and let's centralize that again and we come back to this mask too then click on out click on out yeah we have everything back right here we already have that 
look of mark so the next thing i want this to be perfect so i just click on this i have this click already so let me change the color oh okay delete the texture delete this yeah and come to color look on this see i have to i have the texture and the different color test but that thing if you look at this you will not see it perfect but this thing is not very well aligned so what did i do i come to this zoom click on that use my two fingers to zoom this i hope you are getting it and i chose to see how perfect this is you see there is no grudges there is no spacing in between everything is perfectly placed because i centralized both at the same time so to bring this back I'll use my two fingers to back it up and now you click on this again and yeah I can continue but yeah I want to match this on both of them I want to match them together so that if I do like this they want to move around so I'll click back on this click on my layers mark this and check if what I selected are the same so I won't mark that one together so I'll click on the last one click on the first one and click on match which is this i circle clicking on that i have this and i'll click ok and i have it selected already like they have been made together and if you notice the if i click on this it's not showing anything right here you can like copy and you know the reason why because this is no longer a test but it's a textured image it's categorized into an image already if I click on this at the I have everything back. It is still a place. I've not made another thing with it. It is still a pure place. But this particular one, I can't edit it again. I can only change the color to the full color or I can mask it and I can mask it again. So with this, we're done with this guy. So let's continue to use this additive uh with the tutorial. So we reach mask and here is the phone the font style you are using click on font we have default fonts here we have different different fonts by pixel app which is the default font that follows the app i hope you are getting what i'm saying so we have stylish fonts sans serif stylish or fancy serif fonts and other pictorial fonts as well so let's use this let's use um, this you see this the font already changed already so we have added it here if you sense what i click click on font i have my reasons here click on this and i click on ok and the next thing we have here is curve if you look at some logos like especially just logos and some emblems they have their names curve inside the circle so we click on this curve and increase this we have this and you see what i did i increase this and then mark it and let's do something like this we have this here we can't resize this guy again so the next thing for us to do is just to return it back to the normal place which is this then we are good to go and we have this test background if i enable this i have a color for this and if i click on this black does it change the color now this paddling you see we made mention of paddling there and this paddling also we have it we can use this to increase the space we have here and here and the bottom paddling we have it here and as well as top and here we should have radius yeah i know that right now we have a curve size test here you see that and this test we can just come back to our color change the color to white I have perfect we have this and we centralize this can stand by itself alone we have this already so let's continue yeah let's remove our test background by offering this and let's change the color to the brilliant color we use before and this and here we have alignment alignment which is 
you click on this central align left align and right align for this test is normal so we have to just get a new test like click on test come to this quote icon okay we have a much bigger test right here okay okay and if you look at this test they are not aligned they are not very well aligned let me delete some parts so that we have a good illustration of what we want to do right here if you look at this they are not aligned as they see up from space at the end of this so we go to our alignment click on align click on central align or yeah let's use left aligned first oh sorry pardon right align first use left again and we use central align and we mark let's use this right okay and here we have spacing in which we can space this first the space the letters is let's increase the spacing you see that we have a spacing here. and if we space the words we have this that is it will be b impeccable with your word differently so watch if you see that it's actually only the words that was spaced so let's continue here again as well as we have line spacing which will increase the space at the top of this just watch okay perfect and then again if we continue we have stroke we have stroke so don't let us use this let's use this ability here as the stroke so click on stroke enable it increase the stroke width and increase the size as well you do see that now means we add a stroke with this icon here it is stroke and as well we can add shadow and we can reduce the opacity increase it blow it and decrease this as well we can have an outer glow which this outer space will be black as well clicking on this we have black before so it might not show and if you see that after i'm clicking and nothing you are sensing it showing and going back and we can use this offset y to move that shadow when you look at this is some kind of looking like a 3d test already but which is not a 3d test it is not yet a 3d test but shadow so let's go again let's of our shadow here and make use of inner shadow let's use yellow and increase the radius you see that the inner shadow changes the color because it has a reflective shadow which shows outside but not the back like the one we used earlier so let's continue again open this mark okay and we have a box look on this this should be transparent more the sense this there is a big difference between the normal test and when we use embossment to now let me change this and the only time this is born embossment to used to shows very well it's when we've already make use of this 3d test click on this mark and yes if i click on this oblique um i'll come here click on this to change the lightning direction and i'll come back here and reduce the depth if you notice when we use shadow the other time it looks like we've already used a 3d test effect but no this is the true the text effect so let me change this again okay ah this is perfect so we click on our emboss again change the lightning angle yeah perfect we reduce this to 50 even this to 100 
This is 60, 70, and this one as well to 60. And reduce the bubble to 8. I'm not including stroke in this, so I mark and I have this. I have this. So let me hide all the remaining guys. Okay. Now this is what we have here. I'm, I'm make use of that shadow again with this to make it look more realistic. And yeah, we have to bring this back to normal. And this back to normal place. As well as some kind of blow this. Now you can change the color of the shadow for it to look realistic. But let's continue what we are doing right here. So let's hold this and continue. We have this perspective. If you notice this perspective also is on photoshop adobe photoshop but let's use this here as well let me decrease the size of this and click on perspective increase this this time You see that if I click on this again, I'll go back to my perspective to adjust it. You see how that is. Just like a moving intro. How the comes in and go out. Yeah, perfect. I have I have my identity from coming in from in and showing out. So let's go back to our normal test. Right. and here okay we have 3d shadow reflection we have it here let me move this i don't want to expand this okay reduce the blurry reduce and opacity see this looks like it's sitting it looks like it's sitting click on this looks like it's sitting down so let's go to this reflection we click on it this identifier will reflect as if it's on another it's on a glass or a water reflection effect click on this now did you see that you have this right here 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 perfect i hope you are gaining something now yeah, good you see how realistic this is this is just wow, wow, wow. Okay. They're done with the reflection. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So let's hide this. We are done with the test aspect. Let's go to uh, how to import add stickers. If you click on this, so as not to waste most of our time, click on stickers. Yeah, we have different stickers to add to your designs. Let's use this inclusive. Increase this. Have these different stickers, different emoji, and all. So we go to this. Click on import. This import is to get images you've downloaded into your design space from your story device. Also, this. Click on import. on import okay and yeah let's import an image here okay you should have a png model here yeah. okay we have this perfect so i've imported this now I'm going to increase the relative size to 100 and yeah I have this centralize it and bring it down perfect and I have this up here and I can as well change this uh, the color of this exclusive by clicking on my color clicking enable to already disappear because it's not a PNG uh, image it's just a sticker which you can only change the color but you input your own exclusive and markets 
I can add my exclusive on the test using this test to write my own exclusive. Let's quickly do that. We have exclusive. Centralize it. Bring it down here. And yes, change the color to white. And we have our own exclusive. Perfect. So what next do you want to do? We are still on this. You can use this to draw uh, a dotted line around this my man same prayer to go by clicking on this dash line decreasing the size of this let's test the size yeah we have that perfectly good so we can pick color from this cloth by clicking this add button clicking on my color picker clicking on the image clicking on this and clicking mark and okay so we do this Don't mind me, I'm rushing. And we have this perfectly drawn. And as well as we can just, you can use, we have new effects here. If we do this, see that there is a reflection which is a new effect on what we just draw. So click on this back arrow to have that deleted. And, and we have that, and we have fill inside. This is this if I click on this if you when this line finish that is where this thing will close up that is a fill inside color I can use this for different things as well let's mark this and I will lock this I don't need to remove it and I have shapes looking on shapes this will pop up different shapes and yeah very soon I'll be making another final video on how to make your own Exclusive shapes with all the shape here. Yeah. You can design your own shapes as well by just clicking on this. This will pop up the remaining thing. Click on this, and you find your shapes here like a circle as well. So we have this, and we can change the color, change the stroke, giving it the width, the opacity, opacity of this and we have just only the width right here and increase this to get the opacity and if it is a square we are using let's click back on this click on the square and down here we can change the edge you look at this edge it's round not sharp not even that round it's not the sharp rounded okay if you click on this you see that we have a round shape right there if you click on this we have that just as a frame and we click on this we have no that brand no that flat I hope you are getting it and we can change the brain shapes and everything right here we have this we can reduce the stroke with the and having this and this on mark and we have this bezier tree. This bezier tree is just if you look at this, this resembles a, a pencil used on Adobe Illustrator. So if you click on this and you click on this, I use this tool to draw a lot, draw a lot, to draw a lot. If I click on this, I can have this adjusted. If I click on this add, I do this, now I know where this is going, click on this, bring this back here, this is where the end line should be, you see that, just like you have to be calm when sketching with pixel lab, you don't need to rush. Okay. and if you click on this again you click on this add this add to so add another stroke which is let's do this and add this here and you have that here you click back on this of this and 
I could adjust this to have this bent back. As we are getting it so as not to waste much of our time, let's leave this this way. Uh, let's lock and hide it with our layer and hide this one as well, unlock it and let's continue. We have this arrow where you can input different arrows for different direction, increase the size and everything. And everything. And yeah, we are done with this. It's just an image as well. Okay, let's do this with this image. After clicking on this image, some other things pop up. We thought about opacity, and we have color eraser. Now we didn't use eraser when using the when using the test thing, um, the test, and also color filter. If you click on this color filter, you can use it to change the color of this my model here. Let me decrease this. Okay, and increase this as well. Okay, decreases and yeah, some kind of decreases and this brightness you don't need to reduce this and put it at 15 and this contrast is if you just brighten it too much and the image will not be visible and we look at this it was only the line the total line we have here that is visible so let's bring it back to the normal space we can mark that and this also can add stroke to the image as well just like this increase this this is okay we have this we we'll run this cancel and if you look at this eraser you can use this to erase any parts of this image okay click this and increase my zoom percentage Take this again and clean some parts away from this design. See that's the mark. Very clean some part of the design and it's also blended well with the background. That was the reason why I increase the blending rate. So let's click on this again. We we'll go to erase color. This, if you click on this erase color, it will erase some colors of from this particular model. Looking on this enable, if you see some part of this was already faded away. I'll click on color picker to remove the color I wanted to remove from this. By clicking this, clicking on this, and mark everywhere that is brown was removed from the image. So let's of this and continue again. We already did rotate, we did 3D shape and emboss. And the next thing we are moving we are in right here. Yes, so let's go. This is to change the color of your background by clicking this dropper, change to this or this, and a black color and a white again. And any color which is still gradient as well. Which you can create colors from by yourself. And we have transparent. That is, if you want to save image as a PNG transparent PNG or image, and mostly sometimes this P transparent is used when you wanted to input uh, a design out of PZLab to go design it on another platform again. And this can increase image size that is the size of the interface and we can have 1020 by 1020 right here that is it so it's square meter shape yeah this is it and if you click on these three dots you can easily find where to change the size of your interface by clicking image size and we can have 1000 pixels by 850 pixels you see that the size change and we click on this image that is we can have image to change our background from here from here it's here and everything and that's where we can take background for our glory by clicking on from glory go to your backgrounds and they will it was just use one bag particular background here. This is this. 
okay we have this and here yeah, we can take background and from camera if you click on this camera that means you want to just take a picture you wanted to use and that's all and you can click on the last but not the least we have here which is this click on it and we have where we can rotate our interface you see that it was my interface was rotated and we have a figment we can have a middle lightning and increase the everything which has a focus right here and we have this noise of the thing okay let me increase the alpha okay and this we have this which actually some kind of way blow the background blow the background mark we have this strip which most time is not mostly used by designers actually it's not mostly used by designers it's not mostly used because we don't uh, we don't sometimes use it like it's, it's not mostly used for designs i actually find it useless for myself i did say so let's cancel this and continue here we can increase the brightness of the background increase the contrast the R and the saturation and yeah before i conclude this video you can click on this to have a good view for your bezier tool if i click on this and i click on this magnet and bring it right here that is the edge already okay let me add it again and i'll bring this right here okay i have this to the edge so let's bring this right here and bring it this spot as well as bring it this to this place oh my god so I have to end here click on this add here and the next thing i have to do is to lock everything up together by clicking this and i have it locked up already so the next thing to do is to adjust them to form a square Okay. Okay, I have this right here. So the next thing for me to do is increase the opacity and change the color. Increase the stroke and mark. I already created my own custom shape with my bezier tool and the use of this stroke line as well and after that once you are done designing to you save your design you come to this and click on that is a save icon click on save click on save as image click on either you want it as jpg or png click on this if you the dimensions you want an ultra which will increase the size and everything will come out perfectly the transparency very high and default or oh, let's say common uh, yeah common and we click on save to glory and um, within counts of seconds it's done image has been saved so thank you for watching uh if you find this video premium and if you find it helpful, kindly subscribe to Update Fair TV for more premium videos. See you guys soon again. Bye. I'll see you later. I'm Update Fair.